Machine guns are one of Destiny's most fun weapon archetypes to use if you love to fire non-stop. These heavy weapons deal great damage against major enemies while clearing hordes of enemies just as easily. While they were missing during the first year of Destiny 2, they made their triumph return in year 2 at a slow but steady pace. Since then, heavy machine guns have had their ups and downs from being the most best and reliable weapon to the most useless outside of endgame content. However, as of recently, Bungie have come out to say that machine guns haven't been getting the love they rightfully deserve and plan to buff them in Season 15 at some point. How and what they plan to do to them is unknown, but I would figure that they plan to adjust the precision damage to them or increase base damage to be more of a hard hitting and rewarding. While we have to speculate on what Bungie may potentially do, it is wise to grab a few heavy machine guns that may benefit this buff and perhaps make them one of the best machine guns to use in Season 15 and above. Those who value ammo usage and fun factors should look into using these archetypes of weapons. Now here are my 5 best machine guns in Destiny 2 to own to get you ready for Season 15. So firstly we have the 7th Seraph Sword, which can be obtained via the Legendary World Engrams. The Sword is an incredibly powerful machine gun that is known for its unique perk rolls, sheer damage and the ability to create warmind cells as it pleases. Perk wise, the 7th Seraph Sword is interesting. This is the only machine gun that can roll with firing line, meaning it can deal a solid amount of damage to majors and strikes and casual PvE content when in a group. As mentioned earlier, this weapon can spawn more my cells if you have one mod equipped it. Cells grant a wide range of bonuses that can turn the hardest content into the most trivial affairs. Although War My Cells are getting a slight adjustment in Season 15, they will still hold weight in many endgame content. It may not beat other top tier machine guns in terms of damage output, but the utility it can bring makes it a great choice to use. Recommended traits For Column 1, Arrowhead Break, Flute Bavel, and Polygonal Rifling. Column 2, Appendant Mag, Armor Piercing Rounds, and High Caliber Rounds. Column 3, Fill Prep, Auto and Holster, and Clown Cartridge. And Column 4, Disruption Break, Vorpal Weapon, and Firing Line are all recommended. For number 2 we have Shattered Cypher. This can be obtained via the Override and Focus Emblem Emgrams. If you ever want to use a machine gun that sounds and feels powerful, then look no further than the Shattered Cypher. This weapon has an absurd amount of ammo coming in at a base of 75 and is a 900 RPM weapon meaning it deals a solid amount of damage per shot and can roll with some great perks. A field prep and rampage is the go to god roll for PvE, allowing this weapon to carry over a huge amount of rounds and gain a damage bonus upon killing enemies. Even without a damage boost, this weapon still shreds. On top of that, the needing will allow you to reload very quickly which will save us time to reapply our rampage buff onto bosses or mini bosses before the timer runs out. To make this weapon feel good, you want to focus on using barrels and magazine perks that enhance your stability as this gun kicks like a truck, although it's manageable. Once you get enough stability, this weapon will feel a lot like a 720 auto rifle in the body of a 900 RPM machine gun. Rapid fire frame machine guns are generally awful in PvP though, as they require a number of precise hits to take out the player. Now I wholeheartedly recommend that you do not go ahead and use this in PvP, but generally that choice is down for you if you're up for a challenge. Recommended traits Column 1, Polygon and Rifling, Corkscrew Rifling and Small Bore. Column 2, Tactical Mag, Steady Rounds. Column 3, Field Prep, Heating Up and Under Pressure. And Column 4, Rampage, Surrounded and Zen Moment are all recommended perks to go for. For our third option, we have a Fine Memorial. This can be obtained via the Essence of Greed as part of a Moon Weapon questline. As of recently, the Moon Weapons have been reissued from Season of the Splicer, and some of these return have the worst perk pools and manageable compared to when they were first released. Luckily, a Fire Memorial with a few others will reissue with some fantastic new sets of perks that make it rival other machine guns. A Fire Memorial is one of the two machine guns that can roll with substitutes currently, allowing this weapon to refill a large chunk of his magazine after each kill. This can be paired with Frenzy to increase your damage, handling and reload speed, or if you prefer more impactful damage perks, you can obtain the one for all instead of Frenzy or even Adrenaline Junkie if you plan to use your grenades a lot. If you love machine guns for their ad clearing potential in PvE and you want something that hits hard, looks good and feels good to use, you'll have a hard time passing on the fine memorial machine gun. For recommended traits, Column 1, Fluted Barrel, Corkscrew Rifling and Small Bore. Column 2, High Caliber Rounds, Appendant Mag and Flare Magwall. 
Column 3, Substance, Field Prep, Clown Cartridge and Ambitious Assassin. And Column 4, we have Frenzy and One for All. All perks are recommended to go ahead and aim for. Our fourth option, we have the Commemoration, Machine Gun, which can be obtained via the Deepstone Crypt Raid via the Tanix Encounter. If you love the Hammerhead Machine Gun from Black Army Forges and you still are yearning for something similar to it, then the Commemoration is the spiritual successor to such a weapon. Both are part of the same Adaptive Frame Archetype, both deal Void Damage, and both have great range stats, base stats, and some fantastic perks to boot. While most stuck to the Hammerhead for its base stats, which were perfect for PvP setting, Commemoration also has a fantastic perk pool to work with that can be effective using in PvE or PvP as well. Dragonfly can turn this gun into an Aslim machine, which is perfect and fitting for machine gun of this type. Alternatively, Rampage and Reconstruction turn this weapon into a slightly worse version of the 21% Delirium. However, these two perks within the weapon makes it an absolute fantastic pairing for non-stop firing, and is not something you want to overlook. PvP player can even get a kick out of the weapon if they obtain a roll with dynamic sway reduction and under pressure, making it as accurate as a scout rifle while still providing a punch per round. For recommended traits, Column 1, Flute Barrel, Corkscrew Rifling and Small Bore. Column 2, Appended Mag, Tactical Mag and Extended Mag. Column 3, Reconstruction, Feed and Frenzy, Dynamic Sway Reduction and Surplus. And for Column 4, we have Rampage and Dragonfly. All of these perks are recommended to go ahead and invest in. And lastly, for number 5, we have the Swarm Machine Gun. Obtainable via the Nightfall Pacific Loot, while Adapt Version comes from the Grand Masters. A popular return weapon from D1, this machine gun has made a return alongside other past weapons for the Seasonal Splicer playlist. This weapon is a high impact frame, which means it will pack a punch per round, and is very similar to the 7 7 machine gun, but with slightly better perks and easy ways to grind for it. One thing to note about the weapon is that while its base form is great, you can also grind for an adapt version that adds an extra perk and provides a small but noticeable stat boost once fully masterwork. This can only be obtained via Grandmaster Nightfalls for whichever one activity is active in, and those contents take quite a bit of time and focus to do if you're not familiar with strat and difficulty. Don't let that put you off from getting a weapon though, the base form is still just as perfect as the adapt version as those little benefits mentioned are quite minuscule. With the upcoming buff in Season 15, perks like Vorpal could potentially make the swarm a powerhouse against mini bosses to bosses depending on what buffs are being applied. Alternatively, Dragonfly will become fantastic for ad clearing and one for all combined with Outlaw will provide a fast and furious playstyle if you want to hit hard and fast. Although not obtainable at the current moment, it will most likely resurface in the next season and if it does, don't pass up on the machine gun this one may make a big impact that the community will enjoy. For recommended traits, Column 1, Fluted Barrel, Hammer Forge Rifling and Small Bore. Column 2, Appended Mag, Tactical Mag and Extended Mag. Column 3, Surplus, Bombless Grief and Outlaw. Column 4, Dragonfly, Vorpal and One for All are all recommended perks to go ahead and invest in. So these are my top 5 machine guns that you should have a look into and try your hand at nabbing one or two of them. The Season 15 buff may enhance the weapon through one or two ways, but as we don't know anything about it just yet, it's safe to go ahead and grab as many versions and random rolls as possible just to keep you ahead of the game. You never know if the role you have may give you an edge compared to others. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and general other stuff if you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, I'll see you on the next one.